So we've been talking about finding the right platform or platforms to fit within your marketing budget as well as your marketing goals. Yeah. Can you speak a little bit about um, the different targeting options mm -hmm. uh, that all these different platforms allow? Yeah, absolutely. I think even before that, the, the first step is trying to figure out who your who your audience is. Mm -hmm. And you as the business owner might think completely differently than what the actual data shows. Mm -hmm. So I always like to hear from the business owner, who do you think that your target customer is? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's a 40 to 65 year old female who's in the top 20% income bracket and they live in this general area. Okay, so that's the, that's the target demographic from the business owner. Mm -hmm. But then I also like to take a deep dive into analytics as mm -hmm. well um, and tell me what the and show like what what does the data show me mm -hmm. um, and so I'll go into analytics and I'll look at you know the age of most people that are visiting the website the demographics where they're coming from mm -hmm. who's converting the most um, because you may have a, an older generation that's visiting your website the most but the younger generation is actually the ones that are purchasing or mm -hmm. or converting on your website so I always like to look at the data too and then kind of put them together and say here is what I believe the target audience is. And there's a lot of really cool tools inside of analytics that show you the age of your customers mm -hmm. and the, um, the purchasing decisions of different uh, locations. And uh, there's a lot of mm -hmm. audience demographics inside of there that I would strongly suggest the yeah, business owner look at. That, that also uh, brings up a good point that it's really important for you to set up uh, different conversion tracking yeah. and metrics within analytics. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about some of that? Yeah, I, pretty much anything that happens on your website, you're able to track inside of analytics. So somebody that submits a form, submits their email, clicks on a phone number button, all of that should be tracked because then when you actually start putting these advertising dollars to different platforms, you're going to be able to see Facebook generated this many leads on my website versus mm -hmm. Google that didn't generate as many leads on my website. And where I talked about before with an unlimited budget, that's when you'll be able to start shifting more budgets towards mm -hmm. the platforms that are working for you. And that all starts with setting up goals and analytics. And it's mm -hmm. time consuming and you may not know exactly how to do it. That's, you know, an agency like us would be able to help with that. Mm -hmm. Or it's a simple Google search um, to try to figure it out for yourself. But the first step is always setting up those goals so that you can see how did it, different audiences interact mm -hmm. with, you, with your website and who's converting the most on the website. Mm -hmm.